In this video, we'll see how to manage the emails with the help of folders. So if you see, I'm on the email that is training.tutorialspoint at gmail.com. I'm on the inbox. Now Gmail has separate folders for everything. If I expand this Gmail, it has drafts, sent emails, trash and so on. There are different folders which are created and I'll just minimize that. And these are the different conversations which are happening. What I can do is I can create my own folder into this account. So it's very simple to create a folder. I'll give you the shortcut method first. So select the inbox and you can just right click on this place and new folder. So whichever folder you select, you right click new folder. Under that folder, it will become a subfolder again. So if I click on this new folder, you see there's a subfolder which is created. And what I can do is I can write here the conversation as business meeting. Okay. Or I can just write my name here. Okay, so I've written my name here. So whatever emails I'm talking to this particular person, all should be fetched into that folder. So if I just click on that folder, right now if you see, it is empty. There are no folders, there are no emails, anything in this. So I'll just go back to this inbox, expand this, click on this place. Okay, now what I can do is, if I want some emails, specific emails in that particular folder, I can just select it, drag it and drop it. That's the method which you can do. So I'll select it drag it and drop it into the particular email. So you can see here, if I want multiple emails to be, you know, fetched from here to that particular folder, I can do that. So I can select it and I can just drop it here. Okay. So this is nothing, no logical order, which I'm doing, just picking up the emails and I'm dropping it here. If I click on this folder now, so these are the emails which are filtered out separately, not anything customized and all. Okay. Now this is how you can create and separate the folders. Now, if you want to rename, delete, copy, move anything, you can just right click on this place, right click. And if you see there's a rename, copy, move, delete everything. So this option you can see. If you delete folder, what will happen is, if you delete folder, move power to deleted items folder. So that means the folder would be deleted, but the items in that folder won't be deleted. So I'll just click on this, no. Okay, so if I want to delete all the emails in that particular folder, so I can just right click on this place this way and I can say as delete all. So if you see there's a delete all option, the folder will be deleted and the email would be deleted from here. If you see that's the option. There's one more option if you want to say as all the emails in this particular folder should be marked as red. That means you have read all the emails. You can choose these options also in this place, right? So these are some few options which you can use creating a folder and then adding the emails to that. This was the shortcut method which you can use. The long cut method is you can just go to this folder tab and if you see there's a new folder, rename, copy, move, delete, mark all red and so on. These are the same options which you have here. Now there's one more option that is new search folder. Now if you want to search some uh, you can say some email based on some criteria, a separate folder would be created. Now what I mean to say is, if you see there's a search folders which is given here, now I'm interested to search only those emails which are not yet read. So what should I do is, click on new search, that's it. And you have this criteria, you can choose from this criteria. So the very first criteria, if you see unread emails, and you can just click on okay. So you can see as search, select a search folder that is unread emails, and I can just click on okay. So all the emails which are not yet been read, that is in this place, unread emails 63. There are total 63 emails which are not yet read. And a separate folder will be created under this search folders. So you can keep on doing this till you get your answers. Again, if I can say new search folders, and uh, you can choose the options from here, mailed, mail flagged for follow up. So I'll select this. There are many options you can search on. I'll click on okay. So these are all the emails. There are 38 emails where there are flags which are given. I need to follow up those emails. So there are flags which are given. Same way, let us see new search and I can just scroll down. This was inbuilt emails. You can say as the configuration settings. But if you want to do something custom search folder, create a custom search folder. That means you want to choose some criteria. You can just click on this option to specify a criteria. Click on choose. I'll click on choose and you can keep on selecting some criteria from here. I can just click on this criteria again. It is the same like which you have seen in the filters for contacts and for the emails. So you can keep on searching here. Let's say I'll search for meeting. Okay, meeting in subject and message body and I'll click on okay. So I'll just give the name as meetings. 
okay name of the folder would be meetings and what is the criteria all the meetings keyword which will come in the subject and also the message body will be stored all together click on ok and I'll click on ok so you see a meetings folder is created where you will find meetings word in the subject also and also in the message body also so this is how you can work on this new search folder right so I hope you able to understand how do we manage our emails with the help of this folder options that's all for this video